Hello world, PDR coming at you here with an 06 Lancer. Um, honestly, I'm just doing this dent for free for my neighbor. And uh, I don't even think he knows I'm doing it. Uh, I just had some access to his car. So, tee hee. The dent kind of bugs me. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna do this 100%. This is a big dent, guys. It's a S-shaped crease. If you see underneath here, I just braced it open. Um, if you see why it's nice and clean, because I was just doing him the favor of cleaning the car for him. And be that as it may, I don't do details, but I was just cleaning my neighbor's car out for him, being a nice guy, noticed these dents, and let's just see what we can do. It's uh, no heat gun or anything, and it's kind of weird actually to get in there. I might make some severe pushes. I think I'm up here. So, but I did want to make a video that just said uh, a couple of things. Like, I really appreciate the community. It's growing. Uh, sure, love you all. Thanks for all the awesome comments. We really appreciate that. Um, I mean, thanks for anybody that clicks on the video. Uh, I would suggest, you know, clicking through some of the other stuff. I definitely have a lot of videos. And uh, in some of them, they're funny, and some of them are informative, and some of them are uh, hack jobby, kind of like this one's going to be. And then some of them are, you know, super nice to perfection. And if you say, Garth, why is this one going to be hack jobby? You didn't, don't like your neighbor? It's like, no, I love my neighbor just fine, but... Um, I'm just going to make his dent a little bit better rather than uh, do it for him and charge him anything, you know, let alone how much this dent would be if you charged retail on it. It'd be quite a bit. And so let's see what we can do here. We're just kind of pushing in this little valley. Uh, I'm coming right back to, ooh, miss push there, guys. I miss pushed. I thought it was right here. But I wasn't. I was right here. So I totally mispushed that. And now I think I might have enough room. I couldn't start with uh, Louis first. I had to start with broken tip or broken handle there. But now that I have a little bit of room and I've moved some out, I can actually get Louis in there to the center of that dent, make some pushes. And then, of course, anything that's high, we can tap down. I'm not worried about any high spots right now. I haven't cracked any paint, so it's looking good. Let's see if there's any other hole I can use. Maybe this one. Um, does that change the way I have to look at it? Or move towards it, maybe? Yeah, it's kind of a strange push. This one's almost straight up push because the hole's almost directly underneath it. And with the angle, it's like kind of iffy so let's see if i can just iffy the stent out whoa that's a wow that's a tough push i probably wanted to break paint wow probably did break paint actually but i mean hey we're not gonna make a big deal. I'm gonna tap this down. Grab a hand of copy. But honestly, not gonna worry about it. Cause once we get this thing tapped down, looking halfway decent, we'll call it ninja dent repair for neighbor. And yeah, I actually did crack the paint there. Didn't eat it up. Why am I being so impatient? Um, probably because I've been spending like three or four hours, five hours just detailing this car being nice and I thought let's make a video let's take a den out and like I said they don't uh, care about their tent they just wanted the car to be cleaned but uh, the fact that I can get this big old den into a little little tiny wrinkle is what we're going to be ended up with and uh not only thanks to the community, but thanks to wifey that's holding the camera. I really appreciate that, honey. You're awesome. And yeah, this thing is not in any way gonna look great. 
but we'll do what we can. Definitely like my neighbors, they're cool people. And wanna give them some, some happiness when they look across their trunk, they won't see their dent anymore. But it was a really severe S-shaped crease, kind of got right into the center there. When I made that biggest push, impatiently, definitely, um, amateur dent repair. Uh, it cracked the paint. No doubt about it. But are they going to care? No. Do you guys care? Probably. I, I kind of care because I didn't really want to crack the paint. It feels like it's about 80 degrees, 85 degrees out. Very warm out. Uh, it was just sheer impatience. And patience is the name of the game with dance, so. I slowed myself down, made a couple of taps. And if you see, the board is real close. I mean, I've got a little high spot right here that I can take out. But the board being so close allows me to look right into it. There we go, straighten that up. And I'm using the fog part of it, and I'm seeing that there is a little high right here, a little high where I pushed real hard, and then a little high in the center of the dent, because that was another one that was, if I kept pushing, it would have cracked paint. So, get right back in here with a uh, broken handle and find myself right there. Okay. You guys see. Well, because it's a because it's a moon-shaped angle that I'm at and it's a moon-shaped dent and it's a moon-shaped tip, I don't really have the straight pushing to right where I want to on this one or the leverage. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to Louie and just push straight up right where, and these are all factory holes by the way, I'm, I didn't drill anything, um, and push straight up to where I know I need to be. So at this point in the video is when I say, wow, I sure do appreciate everybody that clicked on the video and uh, stuck through this kind of little severe dent hack job, kind of what is that, you know I mean? We get this thing out to 80% in five minutes, I'll be thinking that's good because not that, just for free. And, and having to push up like that dropped off my uh, prop rod and, and holder. So I've got it on the bottom of the bumper Got the plane in the background. And then with this, I'm just gonna lift up. There we go, nice and stable. And that should give me the the area that I can get to. If I see where my tip's at, it is kind of a weird push, so. Let me clean this up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. I just cleaned it up a little bit. You can look right into it if you want. I mean, where I actually did push the hardest was right about there. Little tiny uh, fracture. I haven't even buffed it, but basically it was that big of a dent. We got it out to a little wave and a little wrinkle. Um, my neighbor didn't even know I was gonna do it. I just kind of knocked it out for him real quick. I'd say we got it real quick to 80%, called it good. Um, we might even have another little dent on this car we make another video about, but uh, real quick, 80% dent, and I'd say I probably spent a good 10, maybe 15 minutes on it. Uh, no heat gun. Um, like I say, that would have been pretty much a three or four hour dent if I would have heat gunned it up and set up the whole process for that dent. But we just kind of manhandled it, got it out real quick. So I appreciate everybody watching the video, and it hit me up with a like, if you would, uh, on the way out. Click that bell to get some notifications. I know, it's still got a little wrinkle in that. Don't judge me. Otherwise, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.